Hello YouTube and welcome to our first normal podcast of the year. It is technically, yes. Yes, because the last one was a Do rewind. rewind, which uh, Alcrez has told me about three times that he really enjoyed <laughs> listening to it while she was doing work. Yes, um, love it. So, what podcast are all about? Yep. So, today, mm. we thought about what we could talk about and the thing that kind of got us thinking and mm. what is hot right now Yes. is about 2024 again. Again. But this time... But this time, about Nintendo in 2024. Yes. And what they are going to be doing in 2024 yeah apparently this is going to be a massive year for nintendo but nintendo being nintendo it could be anything could be anything literally anything so i think we should start off with what we already know yes take it away Dio. so in the last direct which was um like September? no like what did back end of last year yeah they announced a lot of games which are coming out in 2024. Um, they are. Such as Mario vs. Donkey Kong, which is a remake. Yeah. Um, Luigi Mansion 2, which is a remake. remake. Um, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, which is a remake. remake. But that looks quite a good remake. Yeah, but Nintendo have pushed a lot of remakes for next year. I'm excited. For Mario vs. Donkey Kong, never really played it. The only one I remember playing was the DS one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're if I can't remember if they're remaking that one or not or like like the OG OG one back in the day on like Nintendo sixty four whatever it was on. Not I quite know, sure. I can't top of my head. Yeah, I don't know if I would play it like personally. If it's like a PTS, I wouldn't be mad at it. But it's one of those, isn't it? I mean, it look, for me, it looks quite good, but mm. I don't know. Like, it looks good, mm. but I don't know if it's. To me, I don't know if it's good enough for me to actually want to get. Yeah, like that's what I'm thinking as well. If they did a demo for the game, I might try it out, and if I like it, I'll get it. Yeah, it's one of those, isn't it? But I'm not really... I'll do the Luigi Mansion 2. I really enjoy playing Luigi Mansion 3. Yeah. I never played the original, so that might be a good shout to yeah. bring back. Cause I, did I did stream the Luigi Mansion 3 like forever PTS ago. PTS or something. And then obviously Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Currently playing the first one, the Wii one. I don't know if that is the first one, but I'm playing the Wii one right now. And due to unforeseen circumstances, the emulator is not working. Yes. I can't play anymore. But I have options to get the physical copy. Yeah. Hopefully, and then obviously, if you want back, we can get it play again. From from what I've seen, I think you like it. It's just it can be a bit frustrating. Yeah, like most games. Yeah. <laughs> Like I, I like, like I, I am enjoy, I, like don't get me wrong. As you can see behind H, Lu Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. There, yes. played that, didn't like it. Paper Mario, I did. I liked it more than that. So, yeah. you know, mm. it's what it is. I'm gonna a lot of hate would for you that. Play, people love that game. I mean, would you play like Super Mario RPG? That's the thing. Like, what, what is it? I, is it like Paper Mario? Is it more like Mario and Luigi? That's the question, because I have no idea. It's a bit more like Mario or Luigi. It's kind of... It's a bit of a hybrid. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't... There's like loads of challenges and things along the way. Yeah, but you know what games I like the most? I like the, like the wonder, like, you know... I know. Like, the generic platforms like, is what I like the most. Other than, like, party games and stuff. I kind of... Like, the story game-wise. I didn't... I didn't think I'd... I, I knew I'd like it. Yeah. Well, but I didn't know I'd like it as much as I did. Mm. But then but obviously... That was so last year, let's carry on. <laughs> so that. last year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the, other, the, other, the only new game they've announced was the Princess Peach game. Yes. Now, I'm somewhat looking forward to this. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel... Because I don't know what type of like spin they're going to go for. It's, it's not like, it's not like grab my attention like Wonder did when that was announced, but mm. I don't know. It's grabbed my attention and it's a bit interesting. Yes. Yeah. And it's a good concept, but I think that they won't really, until they do like a larger part of direct on it, which is probably going to be the next one. The next, next one, because it comes out in March yeah. and we're in January. So it has to, yeah, it has to be the next one. Yeah. 
until then, I'm kind of like on the fence. Yeah. It's like, it looks good. It's kind of how like marrying Donkey Kong is. On, on the fence, it's like, it looks good. It looks good, but I won't exactly go out and buy it. As, like as far as I'm aware, that. Like PT- Unless there's something that blows my head off. Like, if, the, the like if it like takes over and everyone's playing it, I'm like, well, I have to jump on the bandwagon, I might get it. Or if someone says, oh, you should play, this is a PTS, this is a fun yes. game. Okay, I'll do it. And the only other thing that's announced for this year... Yeah, is... Um, won't bother you so much. Go on. Splatoon 3 DLC. Finally, they've announced it like a year or so ago. Mm-hmm. Wave 1 of the DLC was to be honest the worst thing I have ever seen Nintendo do go on it's like oh look we've got wave one of this DLC and literally what you do is it's like 30 35 pound DLC yeah for both waves yeah and all wave one was yeah was go to the train station in the square yeah you go on a train yeah and you go into the square for Splatoon 1. I think it's the first one. Yeah. That's it. Every... So basically, you go to the square. Like, you know, like the Square Mary Party? Yeah. It's like that. But you, it's the one from the first game. Mm. Everything from the shops is exactly the same inside the shops, apart from they look different. Right. You're just paying like, in theory, you're paying fifteen quid for a reskin. Yeah. It's just, it's just pathetic. So, a year since that first thing released. Yeah. They announced Wave Two. Hmm. That's coming later this year. I haven't said a, I don't think they said a date, but. I'm hoping that's going to be a lot better than like, you'd one. freaking hope so. Because I mean, I, I've not even I've not brought Wave One because what's the point? Because obviously the Smash and the Mario Kart DLC top tier. That sounds absolutely terrible. It Animal ter- Crossing DLC. The Animal Crossing DLC, to be fair, is ten times better than the uh, Splatoon one. Yeah. Because. Yes, you've got to design up like other people's homes in that. If you like designing, but yeah. if you don't, yeah. Yeah. But either or, you do get bonus things in the main game. Mm. But this, you get see in 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 the Animal Crossing one, you get bonus stuff mm. at least. In this Splatoon one, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. It's just like this shop now looks like it did. In the first version, on like the Wii. Mm. That's it. Yes. That's the only other game I think that's definitely been announced. Uh, yeah, that's so, pretty much it so far. Not much to go off, but mostly for in January. So, so. so they, I mean, they are going to have to start the year off with something. Well, they have to. Because obviously, they can't just they can't leave the Princess Peach games being their main staple for Jack for twenty twenty four. Yeah. They've got to have something else. They've got to have, like, to have something. And... Even if it comes out in, like, a couple of months in. Without going into... The big news that people are talking about... Yeah. I've had a few thoughts of what it could be. Go on. So... No. A... <laughs> <laughs> a new Mario <laughs> Sports game, maybe. Because there hasn't been one for quite a while. That's one was the football, wasn't it? Yeah. That was, like... When did quite a while ago, about, was it two years ago? A year and a half ago? No. Must be. Yeah, it was, it was like... Yeah. Summer last year, yeah. summer 22. So stuff like that. I've seen yeah. that people are saying maybe marry a baseball, stuff like that. Why? <laughs> no. Um, you don't need... But ones that I feel is more actually likely... Go on. Is movie about, news about the Zelda movie. Yeah. And news about the Mario movie sequel. Slash. Slash. The rumoured Donkey Kong film. Please. The thing is, right, 
Zelda movie is going to be like the Prey because that's like the, the, the one they've actually announced. Yeah. Do you, do you think Nintendo will release three films next year? <sighs> Zelda, DK, and Mario Two. I don't think I so. Think at the most two. At the most two. I reckon there'll be Zelda and possibly Mario Two. Possibly. But I feel like it's going to be a bit like Pixar. In the, like there'll be like one every year. Yeah, but and I've seen that Nintendo have patented a new system mm -hmm. for watching videos on the Switch or on a console. So they're going to have like the movies and that on the on the console. Obviously, a patent. That means they've had the idea, but it doesn't mean it's going to happen. I can see it now. Switch 2 comes out. <laughs> it's got its own, like, Nintendo Plus, right? Yeah. And it's got all... It's, they're going to make all, all the Pokemon content, series. All the Pokemon's going to be on there. All the old Mario. Like, everything that's on there will just going to be on there. You go, oh, dear, what are you watching on your Switch? The Super Mario Brothers Super Show! <laughs> You have all this crap on there, right? And then they'll they'll get in like you know. Could you imagine this? Like they like like Disney Plus has got loads of non Disney stuff on it. Nintendo is going to have all sorts of stuff on it. Yeah. It's going to be so weird. Yeah. But it's a pattern. It's a pattern. Which means gonna, basically someone's thought about it. They're going to make TV shows. Someone's and, thought about it. Miyamoto. Well, it's got Mia Mirren's name on it. Yeah. He or someone's thought about it, so went pasting it, just make in a, case. They're going to make a series about Metroid. They're going to make, like, and then... Star Fox, like, Star Trek <laughs> spin-off. And... How about just a Yoshi movie? And Kirby just something. A, just Ker a Yoshi movie. Kirby shorts or something. Pikmin oh. shorts or all that crap on there. Oh, be... Pikmin shorts. Oh. <coughs> yeah. Animal Crossing. It'll be... Oh, so there is an Animal Crossing movie in Japan. Will that be on there? <laughs> really, I really hope not. I really hope not. But yeah, they're the two main kind of things. Anyway. Off and topic. Then... Have you heard the making a Minecraft film? Yes. Jack Black is in. Jack Black is playing <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Why is he there? Why isn't he? He should play. Oh. I think he should play like the Ender Dragon or someone. Do you need to play an Ender Dragon? Notch. What? You play Notch. Or someone like that. Or Herobrine. That. Yeah, so, someone like that. Someone, the thing is, right, if we want this if more... we want this Smash Bros. Ultimate, like, world, right? Steve's That's... in Smash now. Yeah. So that would mean Steve would be playing Bowser. <laughs> Jack Black would be playing Steve and Bowser. And that film might become, become on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Minecraft won't be part of Nintendo. No. Unless Nintendo somehow buy Minecraft from Xbox. But a story, a story. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't even know what, how are they going to make a story Microsoft about it? Microsoft slash Xbox, right? Right. At some point, tried to buy Nintendo. It won't happen because Nintendo are like, no. I thank the Lord they didn't. They would ruin Nintendo. I know. They'd, <laughs> they'd make it all like Halo and, you know, mad. Imagine like that on the Switch. Just like I don't know, for the only game that I would like to be on the Switch is Forza because that's the only get like Reese is for the Switch. The only game he'd get want yeah. for the Switch is Mario Kart. Mm. That's the only game I'd want for an Xbox or something like that. Yeah, that and maybe the F one game. Oh, uh, can you imagine the Xbox technology on a Switch? Yes. Yeah, but the thing is, there wouldn't there wouldn't have been a Switch. No. They would have just they would have just made a big Well they'll do basically what they do now, like what the PlayStation does. You know, yeah. like the PlayStation Portal thing. They just do that. Well the no one plays on. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's basically Yeah. You have your Xbox on at home, mm. and then you have your portal and wherever you are, as long as you're connected to the internet, you can play the games on your portal and it basically stream the game from Console at home. Which, that's right, but. So you got to buy the PS4 and the portal and yes. have internet access. To yes. play. That's it. I think the portal's like 300 quid. Exactly. So like buying the console again. How much is a PS5? <laughs> PS5 is a bloody ridiculous amount. They're only a grand, aren't they? Something stupid like that. If you get the pro, I think. Yeah. Ridiculous. So, yeah. Anyway. Talking of consoles. 
Switch 2. Electric Boogaloo. Yes. It might be happening. This year might be the year that something happens. It's got to, because the Switch is now 7, 8 years old now. Yes. And, to be fair, by any, if they're only going to have one new game and that re- announced for this year, something's going to happen. It's got to. Something's going to happen. Now, the thing... A couple of things about the console that I've seen about. Yeah. Obviously, one is going to be a bit more powerful. Obviously. Obviously. The last one was seven years ago. Yeah. But... I don't know if you but go on. There's two theories. Oh, here we go. So they're going to have a, one model, which is the same screen as the OLED. No, the same screen as the OG Switch, but eight inches. How big is that one? About six. Is that six? Mine's seven. My screen's seven, and that's the whole width of that. Well, you do keep this though, you know? Yeah. I'd say that's six. Yeah. So, two inches bigger than that one. Right. One inch bigger than the OLED. Yeah. And then they're going to do a second model at yes. the same time that potentially will be OLED. Right. But the more realistic thing that people are saying is there's going to be a cheap version. Yeah. Which is digital only. Like the light one. No, it'll be the, oh. it'll be the normal console, but with no game cards. Right. Or one for fifty pounds more. Yeah. And you have this game card. You put physical games in it. I prefer physical games anyway because the story. But. Is terrible. But. Go on. <clears throat> I've said that there's a chance. There's a chance. The paying the fifty pounds extra. Yeah. For the physical games, yeah. you can only play Switch One games for it. So you have, to pay, you have to pay 50 quid to be backwards compatible? Yes. Worth. <laughs> so, so so all the Switch 2 games are going to be digital only? Yeah, because they have to to be able to load quicker and work quicker. Yeah, the thing is, you're going to have but, loads of... Right, right, okay. What's the storage on them? About that? 512 gig, apparently. How much is this one? Yours is 32. Okay. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Ends by up. Yeah, but how big is the game? If the game is going to be more powerful, how many games can you realistically fit on it? Like 10 maybe? At a push? I don't know. You have to keep uninstalling, reinstalling, and then you lose all your save data on one. No, you keep your save data. Yeah. Because you do now. You do now, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you literally. So that's fine, I guess. It's doable. It's, it's doable. It's doable. It's mm. probably a little bit annoying. This one is. Um, and the other thing, yeah, two things. Go on. Well, they're kind of related. The dock is going to change. Some people are saying because the dock at the minute there's nothing in it basically, is it? Not really. There's the obviously the thing to connect the switch to the com- so TV. The two things I've read. Two USBs and then like the power and HDMI cable. The two things I've read. Yeah. Is the hardware for the switch like it is now is will be obviously a bit better. Yes. But to get it more powerful Yes. You have to have it docked. And then the dock will help right. make it more powerful. So more powerful games you need it plugged in. you need to be have it in the dock. Yeah. But I also but. read and this is actually quite intriguing and I can see where they're gone with this. Yes. The dock be Wireless to the console. The dock be wireless. <laughs> the dock be wireless to the console. Yeah. Uh, so a bit like how the Wii U was, where you had the game pad. Oh God. Thing. So you could you have the game pad like the things with the game pad. Yeah. In that in games again, but with the Switch. Right. Right. I don't know. And where this is going, but go on. You know the virtual consoles. Virtual consoles. Oh, you mean like the N64 yeah. stands all that? Yeah, yeah, Bring DS games. Oh, God. <laughs> How can they do DS? They've not even done GameCube yet. I oh, know. And GameCube's 
next yeah, but in would the you timeline. Want, would you want DS and you have more Pokemon games and stuff? Yeah, but the thing is, right? I'd like GameCube, and then they put like Mario Kart. Oh, can you imagine? Do they have online double? Yeah, dash? online double dash. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, but the thing is, right? They're going in order because they've got what well, they got. So they've got N sixty four and SNES. Yeah. Next one's GameCube for that. And I've got GB and GBA, and the next one for that is DS. DS. So, so the next do... one should be GameCube and DS. Yeah. They don't go to Wii and... They don't go Wii. And then... They don't go Wii U and 3DS. Yeah. And they'll be caught up, and they'll be Switch. At... <laughs> they'll be Switch. And, and then... that's it, because they don't do handheld anymore. Because no. Switch is the handheld. Yes. If they... If they right. If they, if they release GameCube, like... Old games on GameCube. Yeah. Soon. That might. Be, yeah, that'd be. What they have? They'd have the OG Luigi's Mansion. Yeah. They'd have the. Uh, Sunshine. I was gonna say they'd have the OG Pikmin, but they won't because they brought that as a, as a separate game. Yeah. But yeah, but you can still play it with the old style. No, because one. no, because the one they released is the old style one. Oh, well, they might still put it on there anyway. What? Just well, people the... pay like thirty quid for Pikmin one and two. Oh, it's not that much. If it was like a full price game. Yeah. With know. 15 quid, then obviously it would only have Pigman 1 on it. Yeah. Then you could have like Smash Bros. Melee. Yeah. You could have Double Dash. You could have um, Zelda Wind Waker was on GameCube, I'm pretty sure. Apparently, um, that might be being remastered. Maybe. Who knows? What, what other. GameCube, GameCube, GameCube. Game Game. Super Monkey Ball. That's not Nintendo though. So probably less likely it's going to be on there. Is there any? There is some. There is, but it's, there. it's not. You know, yeah, the yeah, Nintendo but, ones are going to be. Yeah, but who owns Super Monkey Ball? Is it Sega? Yeah. Isn't Sega dead now? Part of Nintendo. No, it's not dead. Are all the new Sonic games on Switch now? They're on every console. Oh, okay. That's my argument. I guess I hit but the Sega Mega Drive. Sega like Mega Drive's on there, isn't is it? Is on the Switch. I mean, it could. I'm, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not saying that Super Monkey Ball. Yeah, but the Super won't Monkey Ball games. There, but I'm not saying it will be on there either. Because all the games I'm thinking of in my head are like, you know, Hit and Run, Battle Guinea Bottom. Oh, even just, even if they just remastered Hit and Run, that would make my year. Nintendo. If, 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 no, not Nintendo. Nintendo. I mean. If Nintendo don't do a console, I can see and just it. do remakes. I can see it now. And, and then someone just releases Hit and Run. I can see it now. Don't care it's what gonna, anyone else does. It's going to release on PS5 or something only, and it'll be like, no. It's got, it's got to be for PC if they do, surely. It, it, it will have to be. Oh, Mario Football. The yeah. original one. Oh, Mario yeah. Parties. Mario Parties. Or Mario Parties. Yeah, obviously they'll do that. Mm -hmm. um, OG Animal Crossing. Ooh. OG Animal Crossing, yeah. What do you get? Ooh, it's Animal Crossing. You didn't like that. Right? I know, but you know, that's like. Um, I'm trying to remember now. We've got way off topic. <laughs> the Adventures of Jimmy Neutron. THQ. <laughs> no. I'm just saying either Nintendo, just Nintendo ones, the ones that are intriguing. Yeah. Uh, Animal Crossing. Yeah. Um, Ant Bully. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The first Avatar game. Get on with every single one. No, I'm not going every single one. How many games are there? Barnyard. As in the... You're just... That, that was back in the era where every film had a movie. It, yeah. Every film had a game, yeah. Yeah. Every film, um, that's what I meant. But like... Because it does happen nowadays. Billy Hatchet and John Egg made by Sonic. The Sonic team. How about Sonic Adventure 2 Two Battle? Bell. How that? That'd be good. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, just do the Nintendo only ones. I'm trying, but there's, there's a list. I'm sure there's a list we can find the Nintendo only ones. Namco. Nintendo, here we go. Animal Crossing. Yeah. Legends of Zelda Collector's Edition. Yeah. Four Swords Adventures. Ocarina of Time. Twilight Princess and the Wind Waker. 
Wind Waker. All. Yeah. All. We're on the GameCube. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a of lot. Zelda. That's a lot of Zelda for GameCube. OG Luigi's Mansion, Mario yeah. Kart Double Dash, Pac Man Versus, Pikmin One and Pikmin Two. No, they're both on GameCube, yeah. Super Mario Sunshine. Yeah. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. I don't remember that one. It says Nintendo Tokyo, so it might be their version of Donkey Kong. Maybe. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> I've just realised yeah, they Kong could make, yeah. put Donkey Kong back on the Switch, right? Yes. But how the hell would you play Donkey Kong on the Switch? With the Joy-Cons, you have to do... Like yeah, on the Mac Rackers. If where's the clap? You do... No, you go like that, mm. and then you go, clap, bam, 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 clap, bam, 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 clap. It's not the same as playing the actual bongos, is it? But they might bring out bongos for it, because they've brought out for every emulator the controllers for it. Haven't they? They're not gonna. <laughs> Imagine if they do. Nintendo <laughs> Puzzle Collection. Right. I can see them putting that it. on there. Is that it? That's it. Is that it? That's the only Nintendo games that are GameCube on this list. On this list. Where's Super Smash Bros? And you've got no Pokemon either. No, but Pokemon will be under Pokemon Company probably. Right? No Game Freak. Game Freak. Bonus discs and demo discs. There'll be Colosseum. Yeah, Colosseum's on there. Yeah, that's it. I don't think of any more GameCube Pokemon games. Apart from... Obviously well, Smash Bros as well. Well, that's some of them, at least. Yeah. So, yeah. So, there's quite a big library. There's, there's a big library. There is. I'm excited for that to come next year. If that does happen next year. This year? Yeah, this year. 2024. GameCube. You said next year. I said this year. Um, Launch games, if it happens. On Switch 2. Switch 2. I reckon there will be... What was launch games on Odyssey. Switch? Odyssey. Odyssey, Zelda. Arms. No, no it wasn't. 1, 2, Switch. 1, 2, Switch. Zelda. Zelda. Odyssey. Odyssey and Mario Kart. Was it Arms as well? Or Arms? I think Arms was a bit later. And uh, Metroid, that was a little bit later as well, wasn't it? Yeah, because when I first had my Switch, the only games I had was Odyssey and Mario Kart, because the only games I could... Because Smash came out later. Yeah. Um, All that. When did Kart come out? I think I think Odyssey, I think Zelda and Odyssey were the first ones out, and then Kart came like a month or two months in or something. Yeah. So I think. That makes sense. Obviously, I don't think they'll do a Zelda release right right away because mm. we had Tears of the Kingdom literally last month, last mm. week. Sorry, yeah, yeah. But, week, month, yeah. But I feel like. And they, also. <coughs> When they were showing game developers, mm-hmm. apparently they were showing uh, Zelda mm-hmm. as as a demo game, yeah, but as we'll, a comparison. We'll... So maybe they might say Zelda can be played like this in their demo, and then that's the Zelda of the console of the release. So it's not a release; it's just a I feel a like rebrand. It will be Tears to Kingdom again. Yeah. But just like hate more more advance. Advance. I th- I feel like that what they'll do is they'll make either an Odyssey two or like a brand new three D Mario game. Yeah. So and Mar- I've been possibly Mario I've Kart. Been, I've but I don't heard, think they'll do double Mario though no. for release. I've heard it's gonna be open world. So more like Zelda where it, or open, or the newer Pokemon where it's like I thought you meant Mario Kart, I got really scared. No. <laughs> No. Me people Mario have said, game. yeah, but to be people fair, people have said that well, for Mario Kart, but I don't think that's going to happen. There is no way Mario Kart is going to be open world. No, but the 3D Mario, yes. Imagine 3D Mario open world, and to get around the world, you go in the Mario Kart, <laughs> like in the film. Oh my god! Yeah, but to be fair, Od- you could say Odyssey kind of like that, yeah, but not kind of really. Bridge- yeah. It's like Odyssey... that, but all of the worlds in Odyssey are combined into just one world. Yeah. It's a bit like... It's a little bit like how Bowser's Fury is. Yeah. But obviously bigger, because that was a small game. Yeah. I could see that happening. And then... It'd be a bit interesting I've, What else well. I've heard is Mario Kart 9. Now... I'd like them to do it. I don't think it would be like 
on day one. I don't, because... I don't, yeah, because if, if they make a Mario game day one, I don't think they'll do double Mario, Mario and Mario Kart. Mm. It'd be like a Zelda and Mario Kart, or a Kirby and Mario Kart, or... Metroid. Metroid and Mario Kart, or something like that. So I don't know. But I would like to see Mario Kart quite early on, because... Well, that's their biggest selling game. It's the biggest selling game. So but that would be stupid it, not to. Apparently, Mario Kart 9 is the most expensive n- game Nintendo have ever made. I think you said ever gonna. I thought you were gonna. I thought you were about to say ever sold. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ever made. And it will. But. How? How? Base. But. Mario really? games. Mario Kart 9 games. Yeah. Don't know what it is in our money. But they're going up to the same price as what Zelda is. It's about 60 quid a game. Because <sighs> they are putting everything into it. It's a, the thing is, right? Yeah. I'll buy it whatever <laughs> So will I. If it's a good game, I'll because buy it. Because the channel <laughs> is very Mario Kart based. Yeah. And... If Might they be. make it so you get every character, every track, Ma- yeah, imagine Mario Kart every Ultimate. car combination possible. That's why it might be the main. It's expensive because they've upgraded every map, and it's Mario Kart Ultimate, mm. <laughs> and they've just mm. what they've done is mm. DLC, DLC done mm. a lot, mm. and maybe that means that Toad Circuit was an early version they were making for Mario Kart Nine. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Could you imagine? All they have to do, all they have to do, to make Eight Deluxe the best game ever, every character, every track. Nine. What did I say? You said Eight Deluxe. No, to, no I said I said. Oh, to, to improve make, upon okay, yeah. Eight Deluxe would be every character, every track, um, make online lobbies better. Better. And so, tournaments better. And tournaments better. So I can I can select double dash mode. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. So where well, it's like hundred fifty cc, two hundred double dash, and back mirror and reverse mirror, reverse trick. I wouldn't have. Uh, I would say like if they do fifty hundred yeah. one fifty mirror two hundred. Double dash mode for all of them. Yeah. But that's like online. Maybe like that's an online only thing. No. No, I say double dash offline, and then maybe the trick ones or something online. No, you want double dash offline. You want double dash online. Well, yeah. They do, do what they do is they bring it back, right? Yeah. Um. Mario Kart. Mhm. Fifty hundred one fifty two hundred. They go mad and do a three hundred because that's Nintendo. Mirror oh, and I, reverse, I, right? So I seven would, different. Yeah, I would be the most angriest first. Two hundred, I can just about cope with. Three hundred. Three hundred. Yeah. Oh. I can see him doing it. I can see him. And then doing our battle mode. Our seem to love two hundred, so we're gonna and up the ante and do three hundred. <laughs> yeah, battle mode, obviously, but I'll bring that back. I feel like what they'll do is bring back double dash mode, right? Yeah. Two two characters per car. Yeah. Um. Bring back unique items. Oh, I don't know. They did. They did have it in tour. They did have it in tour. Maybe that was a testing bed for this game. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Just saying. Right on the list. We're, we're asking a lot for this year. We are. We're asking for the, the GameCube and DS um, emulators <laughs> on Switch too. They won't have many games to start off with. Yeah, obviously, because there's not that many in like GBA or anything at the moment. No. But, um, they're adding to every month. Mario they Kart add a 9 game? slash 10, a new Mario 3D World game. Yeah. Um, what else did we say? Uh, Mario Movie Sequel News. Mario Movie Mar- slash Zelda News. M- Just mo- a movie news. Movie news would be cool. Um, uh, that's the main thing. That's it, really. Um, backwards compatibility. Oh, I feel like it will be Switch backwards yeah. compatibility. One um, console back, and also the emulators. What someone said. That I saw today. Oh no! Someone said, "What if they bring back Street Pass?" Because really, with the Switch, they should do. But they should have had it on the Switch, I reckon. Yeah. I could see that. But. 
But the most important thing I'd love them to have is music. Do not go back Wii music, please. To no, not Wii music. <laughs> as in music for everything. So you go on the console, you log in. What, so it's like a Nintendo and Spotify? No. Like Nintendo no, 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 music. No. What? Well, that could be a thing. So you log into the console, yeah. and on your home screen, and there's home screen music. Oh, I, oh right, I see, I get what you, you mean. Like the, the, like, like the music, music. music. You mean like the Wii Channel music? Yes. and the me Right, okay. I thought what you meant was there's like... In like a special um But that could be a mode of Nintendo Plus. <laughs> they just have all of the music they've ever made. Yeah. And you can just literally press shuffle and I'll just play Nintendo music. Yeah. Like Pokemon, you can have Mario music. And then you, know, you go to the Sonic music. Then you go to a different stuff. tab where it says videos and then watch the Mario movie, movie. <laughs> the Zelda movie, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show and Oh I can see oh honestly I can see that happening. Oh, no. The Nintendo console being not just for games, it's for everything. That's what Xbox did. With their That's what Xbox and PlayStation do. Yeah. Because Xbox, you can lit. Because at uni, I'm pretty much use my Xbox to watch Netflix. Yeah. And stuff like but, that. But now. And DVDs. You can use your. You can use, use your Switch. Xbox to control the normal telly. Xbox and PlayStation, they sell TV remotes. Yeah. So it works with the console. So, so the Switch is basically. And so the Switch is going to become a, like a a, a tablet. Like yeah, an iPad device. tablet, where yeah. you can play for the home, and you go, oh, I watch, you, you, you can just all Netflix on it. And what if you can get a 5G plan on it? <sighs> oh, could you imagine? <laughs> just have Wi-Fi everywhere with my Switch. Oh my God, I can play online wherever I am. Yeah. Oh, I can stream all of this wherever I am. But the thing is, yeah. I read somewhere, apparently they have put in a patent to have two screens on there. On there. On the, uh, on the next console. Next console, yeah. What to make it like more DSified? Yes. Because I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Because DS. I don't reckon it. Because this, because if they do that, they're trying to. Because I know every Nintendo console has been completely different to the last one. Yeah. Because like, apart from Wii and Wii U, but they were kind of like. Yeah, because GameCube doesn't like Wii. Excuse the adverts, but that's what a patent looks like. You see you twice. <laughs> right, yeah, okay. So it looks a bit like a DS. Yes. But I mm, don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. If they do, then it's not a home console, it's a, it'll be a DS which you can plug in to your TV. Yes. Which I don't know how kind of defeats the purpose. Of the other things we spoke about, but yeah, but you know, you know, if it's an idea, mm. a lot, of, a lot of the big companies have got an idea. Pan it just, pan in it case. just in case someone takes it. Then if someone decides to do a console like that, they can go, ha! You have to pay us for that. Yeah, sounds about right. But yeah, that there, those are our thoughts of what's going to happen Nintendo wise in twenty twenty four. Um, let us know in the comments what you think. If you agree, disagree, if we've missed anything out you think might happen in 2024 in the world of Nintendo, please let us know. Yes. The only other thing is apparently there's going to be, there might be a January Direct, but... If there is? If there is, they only tend to do January ones, either it's a mini Direct or console. Yeah. So hopefully, if there is one, we'll yeah. react to it and we'll and make a podcast, a podcast about it. it. Yeah. Depending on what stage, you might have a guest on, who knows. But yeah, um, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Um, you guys seem to really love the content on the YouTube channel recently, so much, much appreciate. Um, if there's not a video up, we're probably streaming on the internet. So go off to, t to TikTok, Twitch, go to TikTok, slash TV TV Twitter. We'll be streaming possibly all these new games which come out in 2024. Yes. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.